others. Uh, there are four animals starting in a small symbol of what they love, trying to get the bigger one, which is across the board. So it's kind of a race, and your goal is to get through and be the fast who achieve it. And that's why the squiddle looks there, because she wants the bigger nut. Okay. The frog wants the bigger flower, and the snail wants the bigger house. So each has a specific direction. And like I promise, it has just one rule, and the rule it is that you cannot skip forward if it's your turn. Your only option is left or right, or if you already have some position, you can also go back, but never a level closer to your goal. So if it's your turn, let's say the situation is like this. As a squirrel, I'm looking here, so these are forbidden, and I have only those options. I will skip into one of the fields, water fields, and I will bring into life all the informations that are here. It's like one, two, three, four effects of that field, and I will splash the others, I will change their physical position according to these muddy traces they are coming from that field. So if those traces belong to the goose, and they have this, this direction, I will splash the goose right here. These are the frog ones, and looking here, it means that I will splash the frog. This is the snail trail, so I will splash the snail. And finally, and that is important, these scratchy footprints belong to the squirrel itself, which ah, will splash okay. me forward. And this is how you can get closer, being splashed. But doesn't matter if it's your turn being splashed or the other turn, because now the frog plays and she can maybe skip here and that will help the squirrel as well. But the frog has five options and this is better because the frog's traces are aiming here so it will be splashed closer to her goal. But do not forget that there is also two more things need to be happen. He will, she will splash the duck as well, or the goose, and this snail trail impacts, influences this. So it's kind of dramatic consequence <laughs> of effects and your decision is always influencing also the others. You can play in teams like white horse strategy and you can play in secret mode and that's the fun part especially for children because you don't know who is who only information you have is who you are because you just chose one of those cards but it is secret that you are a goose do not tell anybody ah, keep it in secret okay. so if it's your turn you just cannot do this it would be obvious that you are who okay. you are so you just roll and you can pick one of the two animals on a die so as a secret duck you roll this and you can play with the squirrel or with the snail trying to splash the goose closer which is possible because if you say squirrel skip here the skip the squirrel is splashed here, and the goose is splashed here, so you did a good job. Just don't forget that there's also the snail trail. So, how it works. This is how it works. Next, Matty Moves explains Equilibrix Connect.